Nikolay in Varna, Bulgaria writes, what is the proper way to compare the old versus the new setup in order to be able to play subjectively, or no, in order to be able to subjectively determine which sounds better to me and eliminate some factors which may influence the tests? Thanks for your videos and hope this is a worthy question for the channel. Yeah, I think that's a good question and we get asked that a lot. There's all kinds of methods depending on your skill level as a listener. So I've done this for longer than many of you have been alive, so I've gotten pretty good at it. I can pretty quickly determine which one is better, worse, why, how to apply that knowledge to changing it, to doing something, et cetera, et cetera. That's not something most people have, and it's not something that comes without a lot of experience. When I first started in the challenge of design by listening, by evaluating in a subjective sense, and then re learning how to relate that in a circuit sense, that, that took a number of years for me to do that. And one of the tricks that I learned is to get away from uh, making yourself What's the right word? Setting an opinion beforehand, you know, just prejudging something based on the way you think it's going to work. And one of the ways I used to do that was to have some, uh, one of our employees, I mean, you probably don't have employees, but you can get a friend or a, a loved one to help do a blind test. So I used to do these with, you know, A and B. I, I, double blind tests aren't great, and we can go into that later. But blind tests are quite valuable. So you have unit A and unit B. And, and the other thing to do too is try and limit it to one piece. You're evaluating a preamp. You're evaluating, speakers are hard because you can't really do those blind. <laughs> Not easily anyway. Um, and an amplifier, a, a DAC, a CD player, whatever it is. And if you have two of them, have somebody else pull the plugs and put put the new one back in and and just say here's a I'm not telling you which one it is and here's B and then you just relax and take your time and listen to them without any clue of which one's which and and the trick to this is relaxing putting your letting your guard down not being invested in the results that's really the key because once you can let go and you don't feel like you're being judged or your skills are being evaluated or you're nervous under the gun, that all of that immediately turns our brains off from being able to be good subjective listeners. But when you're relaxed, when it's quiet time and you can just get into the music, it's pretty easy. All of a sudden, this one sounds really good. That one, not so much. Now tell me which one it is. Oh, no kidding. And then off you go. So blind A-B testing for those of you just getting started out, if you can manage it, really, really helpful. So hope that helps. Good luck. Good journey. Have fun. Bye.